I'm going to put the link in the description box. It's of a dude named Red Supreme TV, and he's talking about Sleep and Eat, otherwise known as Taz and Nyla. I call him Sleep and Eat. But Supreme is doing a review of a stream that Eat did a few days ago. Now, a while back, Sleep, he was on the panel yelling at people, nigga, you better go check my resume, nigga, you don't know who you fucking with. They said, okay. Now, people who don't like you enough, they'll go check for you anyway. But he demanded that they do this shit. Nigga, I got a history of beating the shit out of niggas. He said that. Beating the shit out of niggas and shooting niggas were his words. Well, they looked him up and found at least five cases of battery on a female. I think it was like six or seven cases, but I'll be safe in just say five. And his explanation was that the female was lying. He also said he wasn't convicted of those things, just arrested. And of course, he pulled the old, the white man trying to keep a brother down routine. But let's hear how Sleep reacted to the allegations from young Pharaoh's baby mama that he beat her up. So now I'm just wondering, like, is this shit serious? Cause I'm saying y'all playing, y'all playing about this shit. If, if this shit that went from he kicked her out a month ago to he hitting on her today, it's some serious issues going on. And I'm here to tell you, I don't stand for that shit. These niggas thought it was a game, sitting up here playing and shit, making a joke out of domestic violence. A motherfucking man hit you, you better call the motherfucking police on that nigga. I don't know what the fuck y'all thinking. These niggas run around this motherfucker playing games that they need to get the prize for. You want to put your hands on women? Cool, nigga. We'll holler at your motherfucking ass when you get out, nigga. The fuck? But don't nobody want to have no real conversation about this type shit. Convicted the man on mere allegations. And Farrow wasn't even arrested, but Taz says that the multiple charges of domestic violence that were levied against him were lies. But I played that clip because of all of his anti-police streams he's done, but turns around and suggests that people call them for help. And there was this incident that happened a while back now. I don't remember if she died in the carport of the apartment complex after he knocked her out down there, or he beat her up again later in their apartment and murdered her in there. But let's hear what Sleep had to say about it. No police detectives. These dudes out in public punch. I mean, like, he punched her, you know, like he was trying to knock her head off her shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime you physically punch somebody and you punch them when they're on the ground, you literally trying to hurt them. So I don't know why you're doing this to a woman, though. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like there's no understanding that the women are the physically weaker sex. I don't know why people like to push back against that so hard, but it's, it's just the truth of the matter. You don't have to do all of this to no woman. And so this dude is obviously out of pocket for this and we can only hope that they catch up with him real soon mr b1 black first mr black only mr stop depending on white people mr anti-white supremacy who is they when you said you hope they catch him who is they were you talking about your B1 network? You got something that you call a B1 network. Did you send them out to go get that dude? Or were you talking about the white people getting justice for the lady? Now, I've told people a long while back not to listen to this dude tell you anything about the police. Now, sometimes, not all the times, because... Sometimes when somebody is so adamantly against some people, places, or things, they genuinely hate whatever it is. But other times, 
when people are so dead set against something, a lot of times they are that very thing that they hate. Sometimes they're jealous of it, so they hate it. Sometimes they hate it, so to disguise the fact that they are indeed that. So when I hear our black power people complaining about what they keep calling white supremacy, it reminds me of Job when he was asking God, why did you do all these terrible things to me? But Job still loved the Lord and worshipped him, loyal to him, and hoped that he was good enough to end up spending eternity in heaven with God one day. Listen to this, listen to this YouTube granny. Hit the like button, man, and support the channel, man. <laughs> Hold on one second. One second. Let me get this stuff off my screen. Now let's get it in. Being made. It's the same assessment that all of society has made about you people. Okay? The same, the, the same assessment is that by and large, you're worthless. Right? There is not one territory here in modern times that you guys actually conquered, that you run, that you're effective in. And as a matter of fact, you're so ineffective. I'm going to tell you why you're angry. <laughs> now, she want to talk about territory being conquered, right? But what do people do to conquer territories? They usually murder. They usually steal. They do a lot of horrible things. Hold on. Let me take this out. What do people do when they conquer territories? It's usually a lot of horrible things. They steal, they murder, they rape. Now, you're going to criticize black men for being criminals, but you're going to praise the colonizer that raped and murdered your ancestors. This makes no sense. That was E. Nyla said black people are worthless and we haven't conquered anything like white men have. I'll be telling y'all that these supposed black empowerment people have great admiration for the ones that they describe as our oppressors. And they also covet what our oppressors have. Your anger really stems from the fact that even if oppression is what we want, what you what you wanted to do. You couldn't do it without the help of Brian. You're so weak that you can't even oppress women. That's your real problem. This is frustration of a naker who is basically looking at the dominant culture and knowing what he can never be. That's a man. Said we're so weak that we can't even oppress women without Brian's help, or in other words, white men's help. She said, Brian? Now that's a man, she said. See, a lot of times these people think that they're special Negroes. You know, exceptional black people, unlike the rest. Like Sleep, who has Cash App. He has the YouTube joint membership thing. He has Patreon, Super Chats that Google takes a chunk out of, and he runs ads on his videos. And here's why I cited those things and mentioned the exceptional Negro delusion. I ain't got no business working for nobody white dog, especially if they think they can talk down to me. These motherfuckers be on here talking like black people need to do this and black people need to do that. Just be honest and say you feel like black people need to bow down, because some of us ain't going. Some of us have such such a mentality to where we believe that we don't have to be beneath anybody. How could somebody on here who make it money for the internet figure that he don't work for no white people? Well, it's because they tell themselves that they're different. This is how Sleep and Eat can say the stuff that they be saying about black people. Recruit. Let winter come to the neighbor. Let winter come to them. Allow them to suffer. Don't have their children. Don't help them. Shout out to Uncle Shug for that 25 on a cash app. Much love, my brother. Don't support them. 
Nyla said, let black people suffer. These people, sleep and eat. They love to call mixed people mutts. They love to speak against race mixing while telling black women not to even have babies with black men. You know, similar to what the crazy lady uh, Brooklyn Blue said when she told black women to abort their unborn children if they find out that the unborn child is a black male. Black women would be better off without the majority of you. Without the majority of you. You don't increase our net worth. Wherever you move, black man, black maker, naker bitch, because that's what you niggas are, you na you're naker bitches. Wherever you move, the high value people move away. You heard her, she called black men nakers, niggers, and she speaks like a white supremacist. If you listen to her lingo, she speaks like a white supremacist. You naker, you nigga. Yep. Speaks just like a white supremacist. Why, I tell y'all all the time that these pro-blacks are not ours. They belong to J. Edgar Hoover and good old Lady Liberty. But y'all think that these people only come in the form of a a, a diamond and silk or Anthony Bryan Logan. Wherever you move, black man, black maker, naker bitch, because that's what you niggas are, you na you're naker bitches. Wherever you move, the high value people move away. Wherever you go, it actually depreciates in value. The only place that a maker can reside where it actually appreciates in value is the federal penitentiary. You see, the stocks go up only when you are locked up. Your only value as a maker male is within the penitentiary system. Now that's by design. It's not my fault. Same mindset as the Black Code era, where they had to arrest black people for things as nothing as uh, loitering or being unemployed, and they put them on the, they put them in the penitentiary and throw them on a chain gang to build roads and other stuff. Sleep and Eat be doing all those live streams and videos talking about how we need to protect the image of black people and how the white media launches ill propaganda at us to deface our reputation. Meanwhile, he lays up with a woman that says that we're better off in jail and we're so detrimental that we shouldn't even be producing children. Sleep does a lot of videos about what he keeps calling black media and how uh, uh, it should be used to make us look good. Meanwhile, his wife describes us as uh, uh, people that should be avoided like the plague. And ain't this what I just finished telling y'all a few days ago? I told y'all that these hoteps describe us as something that should either be avoided or pitied or exterminated. But too many of y'all can't hear past that phony black power talk. You don't listen closely enough to hear that they're disrespecting everything about us.